everyone, once again, I'm Alexia Maria Orihuela reporting for the premiere of Tinder Vow. And here we have the last interview, and we have... Robert Smith. All right. So we saved the best for last. He is the lead actor and also the producer and the writer for Tinder Vow. So can you, let's start with this question. How would you describe Tinder Vow from your perspective? I asked all the cast and the crew, but I want to hear it from you because... Okay. Tinder Vow is basically, it's a story about um, a man feeling guilty because he uh, he feels his, his uh, relationship with his wife separating. He just feels that space. And he feels really bad about it. So so he knows that there's one thing she loves to do that he hates, which is dancing. And so he, he feels that he, you know, he needs to close that gap, and the way to do that is to take her out and dance. And so he makes her a promise that he'll take her out to dance. And unfortunately, it looked like he wasn't going to get that opportunity, but then uh, the angel gives him the opportunity to do that. So bare minimum no spoilers for the film so you guys can actually check it out yeah. <laughs> all right so let's ask um, how did you get into this mindset to create a film like this um, it's very emotional very deep it's about love um, you as an actor and also now a writer um, how did you get involved with this kind of emotional film it's uh, it's really funny because um, it the movie was very personal for me and my, my wife and I were going through a little period of time where we were having some issues and uh, you know it, as the character does in the movie I needed to find a way to show her that I loved her yeah. and that you know whatever happened is is over it's done you know and so I thought what what better way to do it than to tell the story in film and so uh, she didn't die my real wife doesn't die <laughs> Uh, but um, but outside of that tragedy, uh, you know, we we, we did uh, have an opportunity to reconcile, and, and things are going much better. So, there's a chance for her to see it tonight. She was here in attendance, and she got the chance to see the film. Um, so it was, uh, and she knows the real story behind it. So that's you know, important. yeah, that's, that's what, yeah, yeah. So what was it like seeing um, your creation coming to life and on the screen, um, seeing the crowd react and everyone loving it? it was a full house. How are you feeling? Well, I, I'm ecstatic. Would be. Uh, an understatement. Um, the, uh, the you know the people um, you know everyone's going to have their own opinion of what well, you know what they like and what they don't. But it, it seemed like everybody uh, was touched uh, emotionally at some point, not in the film. And uh, everyone looked like they had a great time. And so that's the bottom line. It's about uh, you know, we're in the entertainment business, right? So we we try to entertain. And so um, uh, it was a short film. Um, so I wanted to make sure that uh, the people that did uh, take the time out of their lives to come to see it um, got something special. But hence the step and repeat and all that, all that fun stuff for them. Great. Yeah. And for this film and this character, I know you said that you wrote this film because it has a good meaning to you with your your love and your relationship. How did you prepare to bring that kind of character to life? Because you have to bring it on screen and you have to be vulnerable. How are you getting prepared for this, Like especially when it hits home? Well, as I said inside the theater, the, the thing that really uh, kind of turned on the emotion for me was the song, Mardi Gras. Uh, the, the, the second I heard that song, I, I, I said to Jeff, the composer, I have to have it. I have to have it. And uh, every time I listen to that song I would get tears in my eyes you know and so uh, the day we shot I will tell you that dance scene at the end of the movie was the single most emotional scene I've ever had as an actor when I tell you that I was you couldn't see it there because of the, the different angles but I was crying like a baby the tears were flowing down my face um, so it was a very very emotional scene and it's you know it's it, it again it's it, it's just it's me living my life but just in a different circumstance you know and you're putting it uh, absolutely so so you know you your your vulnerability comes through but it was it was the most uh, emotional scene I've ever shot it was incredible and and going back with that what's what was it like working with Janice and the whole cast and the crew oh yeah let me start with Janice Janice uh, you know as far as I'm concerned when I when I when I wrote the character the, the, my wife in the film I wrote it with Janice in mind I, I could not think of anybody else that I know that I had some type of on-screen chemistry with that could pull off an, a, such an emotional role and Janice is one of those actors that are kind of far and few in between Janice can carry a scene without even saying a word her facial expressions really can carry a scene and that's what I, I try to do myself so I you know that's what we wanted to do we want to be able to shoot a, a few seconds of a scene or whatever and be able to carry the emotion without saying a word and she just does she's incredible uh, I would recommend it to any director or producer who's looking to, for a, a lead female 
Uh, the, the, the rest of the cast, you know, like I said, they, you know, some people have big parts, some people have small parts, right? And some people are on the screen the whole time, some are only on for a second. Too. But everybody gave up their time. Everybody drove uh, long distances to, to come to the shoot, and they wait around till it's their turn. And they all gave their best shot. And, and when you're when you're making a film, that's what you want. You want actors who are just going to give it their best shot, no matter what, no matter what the role is. And they just did a fantastic job. I'm very proud of them. Very proud of them. And so, where can anyone find the film to watch Tinder Vow? And also, where can they find you as an actor? Um, let's see. Uh, the film. Uh, I will have the film uh, out uh, uh, available for the general public uh, on uh, March 16th. Uh, if you're interested in buying it, uh, it's very inexpensive, only ten dollars. Um, because that's a really quality product. Um, but uh, for me, uh, I've got a couple of uh, short films that I'm going to be uh, doing. One, I, I get to play another uh, role that I've never done before. I get to uh, play a role for a father who abuses his 16-year-old daughter. So that's, uh, you know, I've never played a child abuser before. So uh, that, I'm sure that's going to be extremely emotional as well. Yeah. 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 And where can they find you? You have a, a Facebook that they can see all your work, on uh, IMDb? Yeah, yeah, I, have, I, I do have an IMDb page. Don't ask me to tell you what it is because I can't remember the thing. <laughs> but I'm uh, R. Lewis Smith. If you look up R. Lewis Smith on IMDb, you'll find me. I'm the only one. Uh, Facebook as well. It's R. Lewis Smith Acting is my fa Facebook page. And, of course, Robert Smith is my general Facebook page. And Tender Vow has their own page, too. So you type in Tender Vow, you can find it there, too. There you go. Well, thank you so much, Rob, for having me out. I really enjoyed seeing the film and getting to talk to everyone. Of course, seeing you again. Thank you guys. Definitely check out Tinder Vow and Rob Thanks. Smith Bye over now. here. Thank R. You. Lewis. Thank you.